don't get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough, especially around the old town. Just remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. You want to help them? Find Devram K. Glimmer mining crew. Shut them down. There goes the drill. Yeah. The tricky business, mining glimmer without a drill. Good work. I just snagged a key code from that captain. I think I can open his supply cache. But that's for another day. In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Come on back up to the church tower. I'm putting a kettle on now. Hello and welcome to another review here at Marble Gallery and today is the day we're going to give a review to Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is one of the most anticipated games of 2017 and I want to preface this review by saying that Destiny is the hardest game to review of the year because it is a constantly changing and evolving game. It is a game that content is added to over time so this is a game that I plan on revisiting every time a new expansion is out, every, you know, every time a major update comes out, and maybe possibly changing my grade on it. But for today, the day that I'm recording this, which is September 14th, 2017, I'm giving the game a letter grade based on how the game is right now, what its current state is at. I will also say that I have not played the raid that just got released yesterday. I plan to at some point, but I have not gotten to it yet, so, Playing that raid might affect the letter grade of this game later on, but for now, from everything I've played, we will grade this game today based upon what I have played. Now, I've put in about a little over 20 hours into Destiny 2 in the last week, which doesn't seem like a real lot, but I've played a lot of it to know. Destiny 2 is going to be one of the most frustrating games I've played this year to review because there's some things I really, really like about Destiny 2, and, and I'm going to say state like... I really enjoy Destiny 2. I think it's a really well-made game. However, there are some things about the game that they did not fix from the first game, and I feel like this is the time where I personally cannot give them a pass for that. And that's going to be what divides a lot of people watching this video is some people are going to be like, Destiny's the greatest game, I don't care, blah, blah, whatever. Other people will see the problems I have with this game and why, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit on the lower end of the review scale for me. And that's because I just can't give it a pass for some of these problems. That being said, let's talk about the good of Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is a better game than the original game. It has a fully fleshed out story mode, however... I personally played through the entire story, didn't really care about any of the characters, didn't really care about where the story was going, seeing it through to the end, and that is a major problem. I'm glad that the story mode in this game made more sense, it was more clear cut what the mission objectives were, and it explained who some of these characters are. That's all cool, but the problem is none of it hooked me. I wasn't like, oh man, I can't wait to play the next mission. 
that never happened for me. <laughs> if anything, it was, I just want to be done with this story mode. The real game doesn't start until you hit level 20, which is the max level in that game. And then there's the light level, and the game gets absurd when it comes to that stuff. Everyone knows it's a Destiny fan. The real game doesn't start until then. I enjoyed playing through the campaign. Like, I had a good time playing through it, but at the end of the day, story didn't hook me. And that's it's unfortunate because they spent a lot of time there with the story. And I think they have prominent voice actors. Obviously, everybody knows who Nathan Fillion and he's excellent. All these people are excellent in their roles in the story mode of this game. Don't get me wrong. But walking away from it, I couldn't really tell you much of what happened during that story because I just didn't care. You know, the and the final there is a final boss battle in the game where you fight the main dude. And and that leads to one problem with the game is Bungie has taken the same character. AI from Halo and just plucked it out of that and thrown it into these enemies in here and they all have kind of the same mannerisms. That was the issue I had with the original Destiny. It hasn't really changed that much with Destiny 2. And sometimes it even comes down to character designs. If you look at the character of the main bad guy in this game, he literally just looks like an oversized grunt from Halo. It's really ridiculous. And that's a problem. Like you couldn't come up with anything else other than making these characters look like characters from the Halo universe. I don't know. The good of Destiny is simple. The shooting is great. It's arguably one of the best feeling shooters you'll ever play. And I felt the same way about the original Destiny and here it just seems more fine tuned than the original. I really enjoy the shooting in this game. The moment to moment gunplay is awesome and it works really, really well. I like exploring the different planets. I like that they took the ideas of patrols and they kind of changed them. Yes, you can still do patrols, but there's also new things called adventures. Each adventure I've played in this game, including each strike I've played in this game, has been more interesting and more fun than any of the story missions I've played in this game. That's pretty crazy when you think about it so and all of that is great i love every aspect about that i like grinding and getting different loot and different weapons and stuff all of that is really well done and i and i have to say and this is the hardest part about this review is i really like destiny 2 and i want you guys to be aware i really like the game i'm still actively playing it and i'm going to continue to actively play it because i'm a fan of this franchise and i really like it it's really well done it feels great it's fun to play it's fun to play with friends I like everything about it, however, a game has problems and that's where we have to look at it. Let's start with number one. There's a certain amount of laziness to this game that I have a major issue with. They didn't change anything about the character creator at all. There's no new hair options, there's no new hair colors, new hairstyles. You can't even give your character a beard if you're playing as a male. <laughs> you know, like. They did nothing. It's literally the same exact character creator from three years ago in this game. That's incredibly lazy to me. I'm not sure why they wouldn't have done that. Another part of this game that's lazy, there's no new enemy types in this game. None. I've played through the entire game now and I've seen no new enemy types and that's really alarming. And nobody seems to be talking about that. Every time I've been looking and reading reviews and critical opinions on this game all week. And the thing that bothers me is every single critical review has been incredibly positive. Like, this is the game Destiny 1 should have been. Yes, that's fair. And there's some really strong things that they've changed here. However, there's a lot of stuff they didn't change, they didn't improve upon, and they just left the same. And as a game that's supposed to be a sequel, Destiny 2 is the name of this game, it sure feels like Destiny 1.5 to me. This is a $60 product, and it feels like a giant expansion to me. I, you know, another thing I will say about the game is these skyboxes look great, and the visuals look good for the most part, but there's other times where you're playing the game, and I feel like I'm just playing the original Destiny again. That's concerning. Now, and that will lead to the next disappointment of this game. I really wanted to see another character class and the addition of making fire teams four people instead of three. I understand why the original game was a three player fire team and it's simply because that game was designed to run on old gen hardware and new gen hardware so they had limitations. So making a three person fire team was a big hindrance. However, they didn't do that here. It's still three person fire teams and it's still the same three character classes. I would have loved to see a fourth character class people could have tried from. 
Instead, what they've done is they've upped the subclasses. So now there are three different subclasses per character. I played as the Hunter. That was my main character in Destiny 1. That's who I'm playing as in, in Destiny 2. I do actually plan to sit down and try the other two characters out as well because I like this game that much. However, that's a disappointment. Like, in three years, you couldn't come up with another character class. You couldn't up this to four people, fire teams. Like, really? So... That's disappointing. I don't think that kind of stuff should get a pass here. And I just keep seeing this game get a pass. I'm like, well, it's okay. You know, I'm disappointed in that, but it's okay. No, this is the time to have this conversation is now when the game is fresh and fresh on people's minds. And it's very disappointing in those regards. Like the laziness of some of the enemy design, the fact that there are no new enemy types. And yes, I know they took the taken enemies from the Taken King expansion and they threw them in this game too and that's fine but you have to realize like the Taken enemies are literally just enemies from the base game with different skins over them that's all it is they just look a little different but they're the same enemy types like that like it's just such a massively disappointing but at the same time a game I really enjoy playing and that's what makes this game so hard to review is I really like it I'm having a blast playing it but it has these shortcomings that I feel you can't ignore when reviewing this game. And I'm seeing too many people ignore those problems. And I can't be one of those people that blindly give it a pass just because I'm having a good time with it. So, the easiest thing I can say about Destiny 2 is, did you like Destiny? Did you enjoy that game? If you say yes to those two questions, you should get Destiny 2. It's a lot of fun. You'll have just as much fun as you did with the original. Probably a little bit more because they did do some balances and quality of life changes that really help the game. However, if you didn't like the original Destiny, if you played it and you were burned out after a week because there just wasn't enough content or something like that, I feel you. This game's not going to change it for you. I will say, at the 20 hour mark, there's still plenty for me and my character to do. And that was a big problem with Destiny 1. Is when I hit the 20 to 25 hour mark in the vanilla version of Destiny. I've, I had seen everything with the exception of the raid at that point. And I just, like a lot of people, stopped playing the game and moved on. And here I will say that, and this is another concern and problem I have with it is they kept the wacky light level system for the game so your character can level up to the base level of 20 and then after that it's all about the gear that you receive that's fine that's cool got no problems with that however it'd be much more intuitive on their part instead of having this light level system to just let you level up to level 100 and make the leveling a lot longer of a progression I hit level 20 before I finished the story. And the only reason I hit it before I finished the story was because I was playing some strikes with some friends and stuff. And I just leveled up really fast. And now it's just the light level grind. of I have to get my light level up to 230 so I can do this raid. And right now I'm at 220. And like, I just, again, why not make it level 100 and ditch this light level thing? It's, it just seems like such a weird thing. And I know they, they kept it the same because they didn't want to confuse those huge fans of Destiny that play this game, you know, years on end like they did the original. And I understand that and I get that. But there was a chance to make a better quality of life decision about the game and they just hindered it once again. So the, all those negative aspects aside, I still think Destiny is a fun and enjoyable experience. And like I said, if you like the original game, I think you should pick it up. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you didn't like the original game, I don't think this is going to change your opinion about Destiny. You know, the thing that I've kept saying between me and my friends as we play this game, every time something happens in the game, it's simply the response of, yep, that's Destiny. And that's the biggest thing that sums up this game. It is more Destiny. If you like Destiny, awesome. You're going to have a great time. For me, I'm giving this game a grade of C+, which I know seems a lot lower. And like I said, I plan to revisit this game over the coming months and maybe possibly change or update my letter grade based on the content that is released. But for right now, the $60 package you're going out and buying for this game, I think a C+, is the best I can give this game considering how many things I find disappointing or unchanged in it. And that's hard for me to say because I've enjoyed my time with Destiny and I don't want you guys to think I hate this game or anything like that, but because of those shortcomings that no one is addressing, 
I'm going to give this game a C plus for right now. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video review. Hope you remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, until next time.